Okay, today I have a new limerick for you to practice your English pronunciation, practicing the stress and rhythm of the English language. And this limerick also has the sound er in, which a lot of English learners find particularly difficult. So it's good practice to, pra to practice that sound er as well. So the limerick is, there was an old person of Hurst who drank when he was not a thirst. When they said you'll grow fatter, he answered, what matter, that globular person of Hearst? So a limerick has five lines. The first, second, and fifth line all end in a word that rhymes. So in this case, it's that er sound. We have hearst, a thirst, and hearst again. The third and fourth lines also rhyme. And in this case, we have fatter and matter. So the rhythm of a limerick shows us the stressed words in the limerick. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So there's three stressed words in the first two lines, then two in the next two, and three in the last two. So if I said only the stressed words from this limerick, I would say, was person hearst, drank, was not a thirst, said, Fatter answered matter, globular person, hearst. So you see, those are the words that we stress. All the other words are pushed together so that we can keep the rhythm of the limerick. So let's put it all together. There was an old person of hearst who drank when he was not a thirst. When they said you grow fatter, he answered what matter, that globular person of hearst. All right, so now you try, see if you can say the words that are stressed in the rhythm of the limerick and also practice that sound, er. Uh. So how did you go? Could you say the limerick? It takes some practice. It's difficult for native speakers as well to say these quickly, but it's good practice for working those English muscles, making the sounds of the English language. So just like going to the gym regularly strengthens the muscles of your body, going to a pronunciation gym help strengthen your English muscles and so improve your pronunciation, which in turn will help your English listening. So there are plenty of limericks, tongue twisters, and lots of other ways to practice your English pronunciation at Jill's English Pronunciation Gym, which you can find right here on my YouTube channel or on the Study HQ Cairns website. So head over there for an English workout today. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.